Welcome back. Turning to our climate in crisis, marine life at the Monterey Bay is being threatened by trash, which humans are leaving at the beach. That's according to NOAA's Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary report on shoreline marine trash. It studied the 276 mile stretch of the shoreline from 2017 to 2021. Researchers found that plastic fragments, cigarette butts, food and drink wrappers accounted for more than half of the debris. Volunteers also found appliances along the waterfront. Scientists say cigarette butts are a concern because they contain chemicals that are toxic to marine organisms. So how can we move our communities forward and protect the beaches? We've heard it before, placing your trash in trash cans or participating in beach cleanup events. We spoke with Pam Crone at the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary who says our choices when it comes to plastic products also play a really big part. Just conscientious consumerism is, it can be very huge because uh, the con consumers are what play a big part of the market um, and can really have an influence on plastic. The other way that we can all influence plastic is just making sure that it actually gets into the trash. The Marine Sanctuary also encourages something we've likely heard before, reduce, reuse, recycle. But there are two more R's that could help us tackle trash at the shoreline, refuse and replace. This means refusing free plastic products that are handed to you and replacing products with cloth or glass made items. Even in NOAA, we, we, we talk about respect as being kind of the overriding R, that if we can respect ocean life and respect the environment, then that can lead us to really care about the other five R's. So if you're looking for ways to get involved, we're going to post information on where you can find beach cleanup events around the Bay Area. You can find all of that on NBCBayArea.com. There you can also learn more about our Climate and Crisis series.